Hello, hello again. So, Morgoth is hard. Morgoth is hard on level one. <laughs> I figure out I need a bit more damage, and I also realized that I, uh, I should have done more research into this, <laughs> obviously. Because something like Flamberge is actually not very optimal for for this particular level 1 run, I think. Because what I for probably forgot to think about is that, first of all, I can two-hand, obviously, right? Great Swords. To get 50% extra strength for requirements. And I am most likely going to use the, you know, the strength heirloom anyways. Right? So that gives me another 5 strength for requirements. So I could actually... You know, um, use weapons with up to like 30 strength requirements. So I could actually use different two handed swords that have like better strength scaling to fully optimize basically for level one run, you know, and kind of take advantage of two handing them and stuff like this. Uh, yeah, so Flamberge is just not a very optimal. But since I can't really fully upgrade any other weapon because I'm limited to smithing stones I had to rely on my backup plan which is uh, going for Bloodhound's Fang which requires somber smithing stones instead so we can actually get to um, plus 9 <laughs> already which is a bit more damage as you can see um, <laughs> than, um, than Flamberge Obviously, we are not going to get as many bleed procs because we only have 55 uh, bloodlust buildup by default on Bloodhound's Hank, and we cannot change it. We cannot change the affinity of it because we cannot apply Ashes of War to it, right? Um, but the base hit damage is going to be a lot higher. <laughs> like, you know, it's 150 more damage. Uh, roughly. Than uh, what we used to have, right? With um with with Flamberge. Mm, yeah, so <laughs> it's a lot more a lot more basic basic damage. Plus we have combat art. Uh right, that is very good. That we can and I and I know there will be few instances where I can actually use it safely. It's going to be a lot of extra damage that I think is going to make up for the for the loss in bleed damage. But in case if it doesn't then we can actually use uh, Blood Grease, which I prepared already in advance. I have like a 40 or something ready, and it's fairly easy to grind out too. So that will be backup of backup, right? If we cannot actually... If we still have not, not enough damage. Uh, the funny thing is that in order to use this, right, without sacrificing more uh, talisman slots, like I needed X two decks, right? Because it requires 17 decks. So I had to farm out the imp head, which um, which gives me two extra decks. Uh, thankfully, mercifully, it actually dropped fairly quickly. This is like a half a percent drop rate from imps in sewers un uh, underneath lane though. So I was lucky to get them early. Problem with this, this is super heavy. It's like eight, <laughs> eight kilos, or whatever. <clears throat> to wear it is heavier than my armor right now, so I cannot wear arm slot because I'm just I, I just don't have enough um, weight. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not even sure if I want to use. Golden Val, we'll see, because I might be better off just saving my FP for... Oh, wait. I th think I want at least one FP flask. Now that we are going to probably use the Bloodhound's Fang combat art a bit. Let me grab that. Let's get two. Wait, what? I can 
Right. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Cool. Let's see. If I'm getting one shot all of a sudden, that means I have I need to fill out the glove slot. So then maybe I'll have to uh, do some equipment Tetris once more. We'll see. We meet again. Or not. Yes, a lot more damage, okay. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, I think with this damage we should be fine. Without without putting on bleed or anything like this. Okay, that's a good warm-up. <laughs> that's a it's a quick death, quick uh panic roll quick nice panic rolling into into attacks I should I should have done already. Okay, now I feel a little bit more confident we can actually do it because with this much more damage we should be able to reach second phase faster and you know terraform be more or um uh consistent is the word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's just a warm-up. <laughs> it's just a warm-up. In case you weren't you, you were not aware, the dagger's shotgun. Because he's sending three daggers, so if you're cl too close, you will get hit by all three and die. a lot more damage yeah. this is right I was supposed to use it I just forgot about it Oops. okay <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah okay with this much more damage we are fine <laughs> I feel a lot more confident in our chances we just need to get into the swing of things again since it's actually been a few days in real time since my last attempt because life. I got completely caught off guard there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing it very often, so I'm not expecting it. Like I, I, I'm expecting the other spear attack or the daggers, but not this. <laughs> Wish my reaction times were better, so I could actually properly react to everything that he could do.
Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I know how to deal with that spear and I still fail managed to fail it. <laughs> That was my completely my bad. That was perfectly. That should have been perfectly fine. If I just kept sprinting, I, I would have been fine. I don't know why I rolled. It's just so easy to make mistakes with this guy because of how varied his attacks are, and then it just snowballs into bad attempt. <clears throat> Too early. Too, too, too early. Both of them. Ah. They have such a tricky timing. Those attacks. Yeah, we have the damage now to bridge the gap. We just need to get good. No, there are no no more excuses left for us <laughs> other than we just are we are just bad. So bad idea. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Just a bit more damage. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I did three hours of doing this on a much low, much lower damage. I think I learned most of his moves anyways. I just had trouble like executing on them consistently, but um I don't really feel bad right now killing him so quickly with this, you know, with a lot of extra damage with, with this weapon, honestly. I mean, it's been super hard <laughs> to learn all this just to get to this point. As you could see, even now with, you know, with all this weapon, that with all this damage, I still struggle just to get... Um, just to get to this point, really, where I could actually kill him. But, uh, but yeah, there it is, there it is, we're going level one, it was a lot of, it was a lot of struggle, I'm gonna say, but now, now we have access to a lot of things, and I will try, because I don't want to rely on this weapon exclusively, right, like I said, this is my backup option, because I love this weapon, I love how it plays, but I, j I don't like how it looks. I wish it looked a bit better. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of how it looks. So now the, th the deal is that I want to... Now that I have access to a lot more upgrade materials that I can get from look zones after this. So I want to look into upgrading some different weapons other than Flamberge to kind of 
play more into this, you know, optimized kind of strength greatsword type of deal, right? So I'll be looking to actually, um, yeah, getting some some different weapon, and only rely on on this one, right, as a, as a backup option if I really feel like I I struggle like I did just just now with Morgoth. So there it is. All right, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.